Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out how does your person currently feel about you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Aries, spirits and angels, please show me how does Aries person currently feel about Aries. Okay, Aries, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be how your person feel about you or how you feel about them instead. And also, um, this can be somebody whom you are thinking about or dealing with. Got the Four of Cups here. Your person feels like either you're dissatisfied with them or that they could be dissatisfied with you in some way, shape or form. However, the world is in reverse. This may indicate them feeling really stuck. They may have other options in love, but I don't see them liking any of these options or entertaining much, I would say, Four of Cups here. Or it could go vice versa. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. They feel like they need you in some way, shape or form. This is a little bit of a codependency energy. But Nine of Swords here in reverse, I sense them wanting to relieve their worries or what, whenever they wonder what you're doing, they'll be spying on you with the Page of Swords here in reverse. So they've been thinking a lot about you. So again, to try not to think about you is to go and spy on you. That's what I'm getting here. So we've got the Three of Wands here. They could be waiting for the right moment to reach out to you. And also I'm sensing them also longing for you. Okay, wondering what, um, what, how things could have been for the both of you if both of you are still together. All right. Aries, most likely this is somebody whom you are in separation with currently. Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, looks like the ending between the two of you could have been very painful. They're feeling it, they're feeling a lot of pain, okay? Especially after the separation. And uh, with the Seven of Swords here, they could be planning something here. Maybe the cause of the pain and the ending was because somebody may have put you in a third party situation or it could go vice versa here. But some lying and cheating, dishonesty I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands here in reverse. Aries, your person hasn't moved on yet ever since the separation, okay? They still are very much in a lot of pain. I feel like they know that they deserved it because they could have done this, okay? They could have been the one lying and cheating. However, again, it can be reversed if you're the liar or the cheater instead, okay? To state what resonates with you. Let's see more. Four Pentacles is here, so that means they're still holding on to this connection. Uh, with the Three of Cups here, this may indicate them wanting to reunite with you, wanting to see you face to face. They may not tell you that. I feel like most likely both of you are not speaking to each other right now. And also with the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse and with the Eight of Swords. Aries, if you'd like to check out your, your um, Angel Number 88, you can go ahead and Google it. 88 angel numbers uh, you could have other messages over there for you okay so eight of pentacles and verse they feel like maybe you're not focusing on them right now you're not investing in this connection right now they feel like you still haven't forgotten about something here okay eight of swords something perhaps because of the third party the lying and the cheating for those of you uh, in a third party relationship or was being put in a third party situation so we've got the Queen of Swords here in reverse, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They feel like you're still upset with them, okay? Um, that you're still resenting them over what had happened between the two of you or what they did to you. So we've got the Three of Pentacles here. Deep down, Aries, I sense them wanting to reconcile, wanting to fix things with you, wanting compromise, but I, do, I don't see them taking any full action, okay, towards this. I feel like they're just overthinking with eight of, Pen uh, eight of Swords here. They're just buying, just being very sneaky, longing for you, thinking about you, still feeling stuck, although both of you are not speaking to each other right now. Some of you, maybe you still do speak to this person, but whatever the communication is, I feel like it's very cold or very little, okay? So let's see more. Ace of Wands, they still are interested in you. They still are passionate. 
um, and they still desire you, they still find you very attractive. And Six of Pentacles is in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. They want to apologize, Aries, in regards of them, perhaps uh, if they were feeding another person. I do see there's a lot of threes here as well, Aries. If you guys would like to check out another angel number, 333, three, three, three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Three of Cups here. So most likely they put you in a third party situation. I feel like Aries, um, for those of you not in a third party situation, then this is not your story, okay? But they're sorry that they put you in a third party situation and that they want to offer you commitment. They want to offer you something of value here. Perhaps wanting to reignite passion with you. Ten of Wands is in reverse. This indicates them feeling that maybe you are done. Maybe you no longer want to carry this burden in regards to them, in regards to this connection. Because the death card is here. So this may indicate an ending again. Um, but death could also indicate a new beginning and transformation. But they feel like you are done, basically. They feel like you are unhappy with them, with what had happened. You still haven't moved on yet from what had happened, what they did to you. And you're closing your heart chakra. You're not allowing them back in or you're not letting them, letting them back in. And also we've got the Ace of Cups here in reverse. This may indicate a relationship that perhaps started off very romantic, very lovey-dovey, but it just didn't take off. Lack of stability because now Pentacles is in reverse and Eight of Pentacles is also in reverse. But Aries, they may not tell you this. I feel like it's just going through their head. And they're not actually doing anything about this. But deep down, I do sense them wanting to see you, wanting to reconcile with you, fix things with you, reignite passion with you, offer you something, or send you a message here. Because Paige is a messenger, right? However, the chariot is in reverse, so there's no forward movement currently between you and this person. Someone may have put a stop to it. And also, not talking to each other. Knight of Swords here in reverse. And we've got the Empress here, Aries. They may see you as a potential lifetime partner doesn't matter empress or emperor it's not gender specific they feel like you're very beautiful or very good looking doesn't matter again he or she um, they also feel that you're somebody very abundant for some of you maybe they feel like you are done death card here and that maybe you have gone on becoming somebody else's husband or somebody else's wife for some of you okay not all of you if that's not the case, the Empress just means that they feel that you've been very nurturing, you've been very supportive towards them. And again, you just, you know, the Empress is someone very nurturing, very giving. And King of Swords is right here, Aries. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Even though Aries, if they were to show like they don't care or they, you know, there's this poker face that I'm seeing here, uh, if they seem really cold, from the outside, deep down, they are not cold at all. I just feel like they still have feelings for you. All right. Anyways, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist from my second vlog channel. If you are interested to check it out. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me. And uh, information is in the description box below. And Aries, I post your videos almost every single day. If you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care Aries. Bye.